It is off to a violent start here in the Triangle. Thank you for joining us. I'm Maggie Newland. Right now, police are investigating not one, but three separate shootings in Durham. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live. And Bridget, two people are recovering tonight. Yeah, that's right, Maggie. And this is where the first of those three shootings overnight took place. And the violence is especially hard for one family who's still dealing with tragedy to hear about. It hurts so bad. And we just take in one day at a time. Sandra Person says her grandson Zion's face is what she sees every morning. The nine-year-old was killed last month after someone fired shots into his family's SUV. They were on their way to get snow cones. Zion was a hugger. He'd come through the door. Hey, Grandma, give me this big old hug. I'm never going to get that again. Not a but. She says it still doesn't make sense, nor do the shootings that keep happening. Y'all can't walk around here shooting people. Like, it's okay. It's not. Durham police responded to three shootings overnight Friday. The first happened around 10 at night. Someone fired into an apartment building on Junction Road. No one was hit. The second was around 1 a.m. on South Hoover Road. It sent one man to the hospital. The third shooting was around 3.30 in the morning at the Joy Food Mart. Police said shots were fired between two cars in the parking lot. One man is recovering after being hit. Whoever's doing this, they're cowards. And they have no reason to walk on God's green earth. She says she wants people to come together to work toward a solution. One shooting after another, after another, after another. And it's senseless. I don't know what needs to be done, but something actually needs to be done. We don't done. have any suspect so information at this point for these recent shootings. We don't have any suspect information at this point for these recent shootings. Zion's killer is also still on the loose. Now, his grandma says she's open to hearing any ideas out there from the community on how to stop this problem and also any ideas on how her family can cope. Live in Durham, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. All right, your heart just goes out to her. Thank you, Bridget.